So the second question, and we said the Quran has it all. Allah decided that he is gonna put a Khalifa, a representative of him on this earth. So how did this earth came up? And Allah said in the Quran, Surah Al-Anbiya, أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَا رَتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ أَفْلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Don't the disbelievers see that the heavens and the earth was one entity and then we separated them and made from water every living thing, every living thing, they will not believe. Why don't they believe? So there's three things here we need to learn. And again, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a verse, it's not only one lesson, there's many lessons. First thing, أَوَلَمْ يَرَوا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا Those who deny the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't they see? See what? That the heavens and the earth were one piece and then we separated them. Well, we didn't see that. We are already here. We see the earth and the heavens are separated already. So the first thing is, see with your heart. See with your inner sight that everything around us is a sign from Allah to know Him, to remember Him, and of course, to worship Him. So those who look, those who really wants to know Allah, they look around, the universe reveal a lot of aspects of the universe itself, and it reflects on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's the first thing, awalam yara. We need all to learn, how do I get closer to Allah? The answer is here, is see, but see with your heart. Then, how did it all start? Now, this is one of the scientific miracles. So, the heavens and the earth are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The heavens and the earth were joined together. They were one piece. They were absolutely one piece, attached to each other. And then by Allah's ability and decision, made them separate, one from the other. The heavens went up, then the earth went down. The details we don't know. And knowing the details is not something Allah wanted me to know, otherwise he would have made it clear in the Quran. But what he wants me to know and that's actually science now is proving it, that it was all one piece, basically a piece of multiple gases. And then when it gets very heavy, they separate from each other. It's like an explosion. And then they separate. And then they become like circles and the earth started. And then the heavens, Allah lifted up and made it seven. So what do I want to know? And what this going to help me in my daily life? But let's go first to the last part of this verse. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ And we made from water every living thing. Or every living thing was made from water. Then a question mark at the end. أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Don't they believe? Everything in this earth is actually as a creation, human being number one. If you look at the human being, nature, 70% of it is actually fluid, is water. Same percentage is in earth. And almost all the animals is the same thing. And Allah says in another verse, وَاللَّهُ خَلَقَ كُلَّ دَابَّةٍ مِّن مَا This is in Surah An-Nur, the light. Allah created every living walking thing from water. And it doesn't mean really, really big water, but it's a fluid. And a human being, is created from fluid, first thing, which is the semen, is fluid. And that's why Allah then responded and says, أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ That's the main message to you and me. The answer to this detailed scientific, why do I need to know that? Because I need to believe. I see it around me. I see it separated. Science is telling me also that they were together and they got separated. I need to learn the following because everything in the Quran, I have to translate it into my daily life. Number one, I need to see, but I see with my heart. I see the signs and the miracles of the creation around me. This is what will change me and bring me closer to Allah. That's number one. Number two, Allah's ability 
to create things, to change things, is beyond the ability of any human being, let alone even the understanding of any human being. And one of the best ways to increase my Iman, to believe, number one, and to increase my Iman, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is actually to reflect on His creation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the basira, the insight, to look around us and to learn from everything around us.